Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I'm going to show you a wonderful feature that has appeared in Evernote over the last year or two and that is a feature called templates. There's actually quite a lot you can do with Evernote templates. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that little like button down there and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using the tremendous Evernote then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let me take you into my demo account now and I'm going to show you how you can set up and use Evernote templates. Okay, so what we're going to do to start this off is to create a new note. So I'm just going to hit Command N for new on a Mac and that creates a new note. So what we've got here, and you will have noticed this probably in the last few months, that you've got a number of options for you right here. Now I believe that templates and being able to save templates is a paid version, although I think you do get the basic templates in the free version but to create your own then you do need to be able you do need to actually have a paid version but the first thing up you'll see is you've got a to-do list you can actually create a to-do list from here you can get create a reading list a daily reflection so a kind of journal and you can add more now before we do that what I want to do is take you to the uh, to the Evernote gallery. So this is the template gallery that we have. Now it hasn't filtered through, there we go, they've all just arrived now. So you've got a lot of options there that you can tinker with, you can play with, you can create your own. So let's say I want to open up this one here which is the weekly planner. So let's just click on that. That opens up a weekly planner. So what I can do now is I can modify this. So let's say I want to change the color here. I don't like the green. So let's change that to a different, I don't like that either. Um, so let's go for a darker, let's go for the dark blue. So we've got a blue there and we can change the colors here. We can add stuff. We can do whatever we want here. So that's created the note. Now, if you want to create your own templates, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this my weekly planner right there. And what I can do is go to the more section right here, click on that and oops, not that one and go to sorry, the three dots up at the top, more actions. And you'll come down here and say save as template. So I'm going to click on that. That's going to save and it's going to save it as the title of this note, my weekly planner, which is good enough for me. I'm going to save that and that's now saved in or will be saved in my my templates. So let's now go back and create another new note. So I'm going to click on the drop down menu here. I'm going to create a new note from here. So again, we've got the various ones here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the gallery again. I'm going to go to my templates. Now this is my demo account so I only have this particular note in here. I can now click on that and that's going to bring that note in and I can now create a date on here. So I can just add the date and that now means that I've got my template started. So that's really how you create the templates and so you can create whatever you want inside this inside Evernote and then all you need to do is click on the three dots up at the top right there and then save it as a template. Now how do you get to templates once you're inside Evernote like this? Well I've never really found that. Uh, I can go in here and then go into over here. I can go in looking at all the menus and I can't find a way. The only way I can find except for going to www.evernote.com is just to create a new note and we can then from there I can go into gallery so I can add more by the way to this suggestions list all I have to do is click on this now the problem I have with adding more at the moment is that you cannot actually add anything that you have created yourself you can only create what Evernote allow you to now I have it on good authority that that will change in a future update but for now what you can do is you can 
you can edit what you have. So I don't need a to-do list because I already use a to-do list. I don't really need a reflections list. I don't need my reading list. However, I like the idea of a weekly plan and I certainly like the idea of meeting notes and I'm going to have a project plan. So I'm going to click done now and you'll notice that what's happened is these have now changed. I've got a weekly planner, I've got meeting note, project plan and that's it. That's really all I actually would need and you can create your own meeting notes. So if I click on that one now, that now gives me everything I need for this meeting note. Now I can go in here and edit it and then save it as my own personal meeting note if I wish. So there you go, quick episode this week. Just wanted to show you these templates because you can have so much fun with these and they can become really, really useful. In the old days, what we used to do is we used to create a notebook called templates. Now you can actually save templates directly into Evernote and then pull them up whenever you need them, particularly if you need a quick quick action like meeting note for example I often jump on a meeting at any time this is a really good way of quickly adding a meeting note well thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week hello thank you very much for watching my videos now I have something exciting to tell you about Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.